Hello friends. In the last lecture, I started with P&L appropriation account. I started with profit and loss appropriation account. Okay. And I discussed two things in the profit and loss appropriation account. First of all, we have the net profit from profit and loss account because profit and loss appropriation account is nothing but an extension of extension of profit and loss account so here we will have a net profit first of all say 1 lakh okay then for the capital introduced by the partners the firm is bound to pay interest on capital according to the partnership deed if the partnership deed is silent then according to the provisions of Indian Partnership Act no interest on capital will be paid so say the partnership deed is not silent and the interest is to be paid so we will say to interest on capital okay say x and y say 10,000 for X and 10,000 for Y the total comes to 20,000 and what is the remaining profit now to be distributed among the partners remaining profit is 80,000 to profit transferred okay to X and Y it will be 40,000 if divided equally and 40,000 for why that ways the P&L appropriation account is closed the profit is transferred to partners capital account or the partners current account what is a capital account what is a current account I will tell you later on so the first thing is we have the profits from the profit and loss account okay we transfer these profits to the credit of profit and loss appropriation account because it is an income for us and on the debit side we will have the expenses interest on capital is an expense for the firm so we will write this down on the debit side and the remaining profits will be transferred to the partners capital or current account now I am going to take up the third issue in profit and loss appropriation account third issue is interest on drawings now what is drawings you all know the partners withdrawing the money from the firm for their personal use now on this money withdrawn the partners are liable to pay interest to the firm okay the partners this is the money withdrawn for personal use okay so the partners are liable to pay interest on this money withdrawn now again here two things one is the partnership deed and the other is the Indian Partnership Act 1932 if the partnership deed provides for interest on drawings then partners are liable to pay interest on drawings at the rate specified in the partnership deed but if the partnership deed is silent as to the interest on drawings then the provisions of Indian Partnership Act 1932 will apply and what is the provision relating to interest on drawings that the interest on drawings will not be charged okay these provisions are very very important you have to 
keep these points in mind because everywhere these points will come so let's say we have a profit of let's take an example there is a net profit of say 5 lakh rupees okay and x capital is 1 lakh y capital is 1 lakh okay x drawings x drawings is say 50,000 okay and y drawings is say 50,000 now what they have is they have a partnership deed executed they have a partnership deed they say profits to be shared equally that is 1 is to 1 ok interest on capital interest on capital is to be paid at the rate of 10 percent per annum ok <coughs> and interest on drawings is to be charged at the rate of 10 percent per annum clear so they say prepare profit and loss appropriation account now this is the sample question we have to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account you can write this example so let's prepare the profit and loss appropriation account for this profit and loss appropriation account okay these formats are very important from the examination point of view so be careful with your formats oh, sorry this is the credit side and this is the debit side we have here amount here we'll have the particulars okay amount and the particulars <coughs> now what we have first of all the question says that we have a profit of 5 lakh so we will write here by net profit 5 lakh okay second point we have done is interest on capital x has a capital of 1 lakh y has a capital of 1 lakh the partnership deed provides that interest on capital is to be paid at the rate of 10 percent per annum so it is an expense what it is it is an expense for the business we will write this on the debit side we will write to interest on capital okay x 1 lakh into 10 divided by 100 that comes to 10,000 similarly y 1 lakh into 10 divided by 100 that comes to 10,000 so the total 
interest on capital comes to twenty thousand. Okay. Now we have now additional point that is interest on drawings. <coughs> X draws a money of fifty thousand for personal use, and Y withdraws fifty thousand for personal use. and the partnership deed provides that interest on drawings is to be paid at the rate of 10% per annum so now what is drawings for the partnership firm x is withdrawing money x y is withdrawing money they are liable to pay interest on that to the firm for the firm interest on drawings is an income so we will write this on the credit side we will say by interest on drawings now all this we have to do before the distribution of profits because we have to find out the net actual profits that are to be distributed among the partners okay so we'll write by interest on drawings for x it is 50000 into 10 divided by 100 that comes to 5000 and for y similarly 50000 and 10% comes to 5000 so total drawings comes to 10000 so now we have the profits of 5 lakh plus the interest on drawings of 10000 minus the interest on capital that the firm has already paid to the partners so no now what is the actual profit to be distributed 5 lakh this 5 lakh plus this 10000 minus this 20000 okay so this figure comes to 4 lakh 90000 now we will say to profit transferred to x capital account and y capital account okay so the total figure for this is 4 lakh 90000 now the question says that they will distribute the profits equally okay so this we have to divide into two parts so this comes to 2 lakh 45000 and 2 lakh 45000 right here we will total this as 5 lakh 10000 and 5 lakh 10000 clear very simple logics we have the profit okay we will transfer the profit to the credit side of pnl appropriation account from profit and loss account interest on capital because it is an expense for the firm we will show it on the debit side okay interest on drawings it is an income for the firm we will write it on credit side and we will get the balance profit to be transferred to the partners capital accounts okay so we have discussed about the net profit how it is to be shared we have discussed about interest on capital and now i have discussed about interest on drawings so these are the first three very basic points of pnl appropriation account we have some more points we have still left with us is the interest to be paid on the partners capital uh, sorry on the partners loan loan advanced by a partner then we have the partners remuneration 
salaries and the commission to be paid to the partners then we have sometimes the partners decide that some amount of profits should be set aside as reserves general reserve okay so some amount that they decide will be transferred to reserve and then the balance will be transferred to the partners capital account so this is how we prepare P&L appropriation account you can write this down 